Welcome to Off Court Spotlight. I'm Taylor Dent, and today we are talking with the big guy, John Isner. John, thanks so much for coming by tonight. Just moments off of the Federer match. Great playing out there. Yeah, it was an unbelievable experience to know that I uh, took a set off Roger Federer. It's pretty cool. Nobody ever be able to take that away from me. Fortunately, I couldn't keep it up. Uh, you know, I probably knew that was going to happen. He um, he picks his game up and uh, figures out his figures out his opponents better than anybody, and that's what he did today. And you know, but it was just such an honor, you know, to be out there and play against him. Yeah, I had the pleasure of calling the match upstairs, and the, the stadium was packed, yeah. twenty-five thousand strong, and I felt like you had eighty percent of those behind you. Yeah, especially after that first set, they, I know the crowd erupted and gave me a lot of goosebumps out there, and. Like I said, I just, you know, unfortunately I couldn't keep it up and um, I didn't give him much to cheer about in those next three sets. Roger did, he had a couple amazing shots. But Roger played phenomenal tennis, not making those uh, any unforced errors in the second and third set, but you did an, a phenomenal job being your first time playing at the US Open. Have you been here before? Is this your first time at all? Yeah, it's my first Grand Slam of, of any kind. And, uh, you know, I had to get a wild card into here. And I've, you know, I, I, unfortunately I did real well with it, won two matches. and. You know, didn't want to play against Roger in the third round. I would like my chance against anybody else, but then again, it was such a great experience. So, well, that's awesome. Well, so you're you're a rare thing among the tennis circuit. Not many players these days actually go to college for the full four years. Maybe they go for a year and then and then come turn pro. But you went to the four years. How do you think that sets you up to be a professional tennis player? Yeah, it, it would meant everything, you know, to me. Uh, if I would have left early, I, I would not be in, sitting in this chair right now. The four years was definitely the right choice for me. Um, I got so much better at college, got a lot physically stronger, mentally stronger, and such great coaching there with Manny Diaz, and it was, it was amazing. And if I had a fifth year, I'd probably go back. Uh, I, did, I didn't want to leave Athens, <laughs> but I had to. They, they forced me out. and uh, They kicked you out of there. Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, you know, forced to come out here and play a little bit of tennis, but, you know, it's not bad. I'm doing real well so far, and hopefully I can keep it up. More Off-Court Spotlight with John Isner coming up. I mean, it's been an amazing run. We all want to know, since you left college, what's happened? Yeah, it's been amazing. I, you know, I just told myself I wanted to give it a shot out here and won my, my, won my first tournament out as a pro. And where was that? It was in middle of nowhere, California, a futures tournament. Just, uh, I had to get a wild card into that because I, I didn't have a ranking. And, um, you know, built some confidence from there, then won a challenger, and then obviously made that run in D.C. And then that's when I realized that you know, I, I can compete with these guys and played a pretty good tennis after that and came here feeling fresh and won two matches and unfortunately lost today, but then again, it was a great tournament for me. Yeah, no, you're definitely the player uh, that has all the buzz on the tour right now. So do you have anything looking forward that you're going to be doing over the next uh, six months' time? You know, I know in two weeks I'm going to Sweden to uh, practice with the guys on the Davis Cup team, try to get them ready for that match. Very and, cool. Um, I'm going to sit down with uh, my coach, my coaches, and. Uh, you know, figure out a schedule for me and uh, see what's right. I probably have to, you know, dip back into the, some challenger events and uh, hopefully get my ranking up and um, so I can be a mainstay here at the top of the rankings. Well, I'm sure there's a few wild cards waiting for you <laughs> wherever you go if you, if you elect to play the tour events. So just about your physical game, what do you think are the shots or the shot that you need to work on mm -hmm. to maybe win another set off Federer or perhaps even beat him next time you guys meet up? Yeah, I got to work on my movement, obviously. That can always improve. Um, my ground strokes can improve, and I think I'm serving well now. And uh, I, I guess you just got to work on staying focused out there all the way through the match. Um, I think I did that pretty well today. I but was going to say, that was one of the things that I was actually really impressed about, mm -hmm. and I think that your four years at college really helped that, is mm -hmm. you're, you're pretty mentally tough out there. You know, it, it was going to be real easy for you to take a step back after losing that second set, but you hung in there extremely well. Yeah, I did. Um, I felt pretty solid, actually, in that third set. I thought I felt like I had a good chance out there. and. Maybe squeak out a third set, and you know. But I, like I said, I, I was I've been real calm all all throughout these matches I, that I played this summer, and especially at this tournament. That's helped me out a lot. What do you think was the big success? What what made it so close in that first set? Because obviously you were toe to toe with him. You actually yeah. had the only break point chance of that first set. Yeah. And you came away with the win in the breaker. What was what was the difference in that first set? Uh, I think I, I was, was real fortunate in that tiebreaker. I, I think at four all, I scrapped out a point somehow on his serve and on a pretty good approach shot, he missed her turn. And I hit two big serves to, to close it out and, uh, and that was it. I served well in the tiebreaker. I um, 
have had a knack to, I've been doing that all summer, pretty much played a lot of tiebreakers and served real well in them. It was exciting to watch. So at the handshake, when you're up at the net, what did, uh, did Federer have anything fun to offer? Any, anything interesting to say? Well, first of all, I just told him it was such an honor to play against him on a stage like that. And he told me that, you know, I'm a good player and, uh, he, you know, he just wished me the best for the rest of the, you know, the rest of the fall and the rest of the year. Awesome. Well, John Isner, thanks so much for stopping by today and the best of luck in the next uh, six months and for the rest of your career. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me, Taylor. We'll be seeing a lot more of John Isner in the future, and we hope to be seeing you next time for more Off-Court Spotlight.